Don Rose Optic Football, PYT Six Boxer number 91. Player guess. Let's start a player guess at 100 today. Okay. 1 1 player guess, 100 Platteruskis. Thank you guys very much for joining in. We appreciate you guys. Uh, just a quick note for anybody out there who's watching. If you're buying the breaks in the, in the website, all right, and you have an address change, simply changing your address on the website or changing your address in your PayPal is not going to change your address in our address book. Okay, people constantly check out, and when I say constantly check out, I mean constantly check out by accident, of course, with the wrong shipping address. So, to prevent a multitude of shipping errors, we have a an address book that needs to be manually updated. So, as it states on every single page of our website, if you have an address change, okay, you must email shipping at platinumcarbreaks.com with your new address so we can update our address book. Be smart, folks. We want you to get your cards. You want your cards, we want you to get your cards. Make sure if you change your address, you tell us about it, please, okay? May the downtowns be with you all, or at least one of you guys. Let's get it. Mom, I love you. Hello. Holy. All right, so we've got two stacks here. I'm gonna roll a single die. If we roll a one, a two, or a three, we're gonna go with the left stack. Okay, if we roll a, five, a four, a five, or a six, we're gonna go with the right stack. All right, one, two, three, left, four, five, six, right. It is, looks like a one. It is a one. All right, so we're gonna go with the left stack. One, two, three, left. That means the right stack will be number 92. Be happy to run a filler on 92 after we get done with this break. If you guys want to, that would be great. Buck, yeah. What's good, Buck, yeah? What's up, Nicholas?
PSA about the fist everyone after BS BGS lubed everyone good last week. Yo, I just hit a freaking downtown Tillman in, in that target box. Oh, damn, William H. You just cashed in big. Those are huge. We pulled one of those last week. Really awesome card. Congratulations. Selling for big uber bucks now. Alright, let's see some action, baby. Let's see it. Dan BK KB24, is that a 12 box of hobby? This is a hobby. This is a 6 box half case break, Dan. This is hobby, though, yeah. He says, stoke keeping that one. Good for you. The contenders that's on the website is a full 12 box case. Okay, the one, the one that's on the website. Uh, uh, that would be fantastic if we can get that full today. That would be great. That would be fantastic. We have to redeem ourselves. Yesterday's attendees case was not the best. So today's, let's get one today and uh, let's make it a big one. Let's make it a big case today. Billy Boy Rocker. What's going on, Billy Boy? says he responded he says okay I'll pick some up I'm at the dentist now Austin's at the dentist oh well, we've got number 25 for the Atlanta Falcons We're going to left side 19 serial number a dynamic patch autograph of Matty Ice Matt Ryan for the Atlanta Falcons the 19 spot belongs to Elijah Coming your way, Elijah. Nice, man. Number 25, Jerry Judy, Black Pandora Rated Rookie for the Denver Broncos. Filler squad on the Broncos. This one is going to go to the owner of left side 15, which is Eric. Nice, Judy. I said, we've had some nice receiver stuff come out uh, last couple days here from both this product and from Contenders been pretty pretty awesome Colby Parkinson for Seattle blue rookie number 179 this is Justin Jefferson for the Vikings Big Ben Roethlisberger for the Pittsburgh Steelers hollow is card number 82 we'll go to the 82 spot Tom Brady for the Bucks T minus Russell Wilson Seahawks. Chin for the Carolina Panthers is number to 299. Jeremy Chin. Gibson rated rookie hollow for Washington is a nice one. That's going to go to the owner of the 85 spot. Card number 185 goes to 85. Eric rated rookie hollow. Kids a beast. Jaguars. The Jack says to 179, Josh Allen. There's a uh, Chase Young rookie, defensive rookie of the year. DJ Moore for Carolina Red is number 299. We've got a Joe Burrow rated rookie for the Bengals. Guys, Bengals? I didn't even realize the freaking Bengals were in this too. Holy. 
Joe Burrow is 151. That's going to go to the 51 spot. Keith M. Albert Okwigabadam. This guy for Denver. Rookie Hollow. 124 goes to the 24 spot. AJ Green Bengals Hollow is 25 spot. Toddy Mahomes. DK for the Seahawks, number to 299, Aqua, and that's our first box. And a thick jobby. Look at the ice. The best centering on that Joe Burrow, unfortunately. It's like spring weather here the last couple days. It's been actually a lot nicer. Kind of makes me want to sit outside and drink a few brujas. Fire off a, a spliff or five. With some, some tunes or something. What do you think, D-Jack? Call it a day? Shrub it up with some uh, carbonated, some carbonated beverages. Some carbonated alcoholic beverages. Soak in some vitamin D. We get let me get Chumley up in here. Chumley finish out the day here. Ah, oh, Billy Boy, they're just they're they're dealing with an insane volume of incoming cards. Um and they're just raising their rates they're raising their their grading fees because it, every time they keep raising them it doesn't seem to slow down the people sending in cards to get graded so I think they're just going to keep pushing it to the limit the average number of hours one of the graders at BGS or PSA works a week you think King Cryptics, what's going on King Cryptics, how are you? Minimum 50 to 55, yeah, probably.
King Cryptic says, amazing, how are you doing? Um, I'm, the only complaint I have, King Cryptic, is I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just a little tired today. Uh, Nicholas, the, the United States Postal Service is, uh, getting on my nerves, man. It's really amazing. Antoine Winfield Jr. for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers is number to 60. That is rookie auto blue parallel for Tampa. Number to 50, T. Higgins for the Bengals. Purple rated rookie, 21 out of 50 going to 21 spot Eric. First package from us? First package from us what? Nicholas, you've gotten packages for us for how many years now? <laughs> what are you talking about first package? Tom Brady hollow for the Bucks is nice. Brandon Ayuk, the rookies for the Niners. Niners are a filler squad. Uh, that does not have a serial number or a card number, so that'll go to the 25 spot. Michael Thomas for the Saints. Number to 299. We've got Asi Asi for the Patriots. Number to 125. Colin Johnson for the Jaguars. Hollow. Lamar Jackson for Baltimore going to the Foo out of 199. First package of Optic Football. Yeah. The sorters, the sorters, um, these optics do take the sorters a long while to sort. Uh, it takes them actually several hours to sort one of these half case breaks. So uh, sorting has, they've been working their ass off, but it's been slow on the optics. Um, Clyde Edwards, Elair, Elite Series rookies. But on top of that, you know, the shipping, shipping is going just like normal. But USPS, things aren't moving within their network too quickly. So, Aaron Jones, eleven of ninety nine red. Eleven is Doug. Thurpeg, D Lee, I I can't keep up with all these. Whoever whoever's on the, the break video hitting it, but I don't I don't really know. I'm sorry. Watching you break having a cigar on the porch, baby. Wow, William. Drew Brees from the Saints Hollow. William, who's got it better than you right now? T minus three two one Aaron Rodgers Packers. Tom Brady. We've got Epinesa to two ninety nine for the Bills. Filler squad two oh eight goes to the eighth spot. William H hit a Pat Tillman downtown in a retail box today. Patrick Queen Ravens hollow. And we've got four left. Watching you break having a cigar on the porch, baby. Oh, holy. It's gorgeous up here in PA. Yeah, it's a nice day here. JRA is in the house. I'm ready for spring, man. I really am. It's been one of those winters. It's just like, ugh. I've been getting packages from you about six years. 2015 Tops football was my first breaks with you guys. Ah, 2015 Tops football. The death of Tops football. That was the, 
the final year of Tops Football 2015. They, un they unleashed a couple beasts, too. They had that Topps Diamond football, which, when it came out, was super hot. I know they didn't end up reselling well after time or, or over time, but uh, Diamond was a new one that year that was that went over well. Uh, definitive football. It was pretty sweet. Mini Chrome football, Topps Chrome Mini. Yeah, that was that stuff was loaded, man. That was Super Fractor Central in there. One of those products just not a lot of people ordered, I guess, because supers popped out. We had like multiple times, we had three supers in a case. It was insane. Found you guys for my mini chrome breaks. Yeah, that stuff was awesome, man. Good times. Those were good times. Tell your postal workers and delivery guys and gals a huge thank you. Thank you for what, Billy Boy? Taking their slowest time to deliver the packages, Billy Boy? Huh? What are we thanking the postal service for? Huh? Should I thank the postal service for the packages they lose? Then I got people thinking that I'm stealing their cards? Because their package didn't get to them? Should I thank them for that, Billy Boy? You know how many tens and tens of thousands of dollars that we've lost because the Postal Service is has got a bunch of incompetent people working for them, Billy Boy? Thank the Postal Service my ass. Thank the Postal Service. And then, you know, maybe you work for the Postal Service and maybe you do your job well. But it's pretty clear that there's a lot of people who work for the Postal Service, Billy Boy, that don't do their job pretty well. Okay? It's pretty evident to me. Okay? That's just telling you how it is, buddy. Maybe you should go UPS or FedEx. Try them, buddy. Billy Boy. Billy Boy. You the man, Billy Boy. We've got McFarland Jr. to 50 for the Pittsburgh Steelers going to left side, 46. Eric, rated rookie auto red. Very nice looking card there. freaking problem is these UPS and FedEx rates are even worse than the freaking the worse than the USPS rates AJ uh, well they're they're like double the cost I mean it's not even close they're not affordable options on when you're doing these mass shippings AJ Dillon Green Bay Packers purple I mean people always have the option if they want to pay to upgrade their package to UPS or FedEx I mean we do that for a bunch of people but um 33 out of 50, A.J. Dillon. It's just not cost effective for the grand scale, you know, for the volume that we ship. Josh Allen for the Jags to 179 blue. Derek Carr Raiders hollow is card 51. We'll go to the 51 spot. 
Chase Young, the rookies for Washington. No card number goes to the 25 spot. Parker for the Dolphins. That is out of 299. Ayuk for the Niners is 169. We'll go to the 69 spot. You live every day of the fullest. Listen, Billy Boy, I'm. I try to do the same thing. It doesn't mean I'm not allowed to be frustrated with the United States Postal Service and their incompetence. But Jake Fromm, Buffalo Bills, hollow is one five five fifty five spot. DJ Dallas for the Seahawks, ready rookie blue. It's a one seventy nine. Got a Jordan Love. That's one five four going to the fifty four spot. Tom Brady, Ac Al Albert Aquigabana, 288 to 299 for Denver, going to the 88 spot. 88 spot is Bobby Goodsby. Pink Velocity, AJ Green Bengals, 13 of 79, going to the 13 spot. Huntley for the Detroit Lions, rookie hollow. Chubb for the Cleveland Browns. Hollow. Josh Allen, Buffalo Bills, T minus 3, 2, 1. Uh, that's 2, TM-2. We'll go to the 2 spot. And we got 3 boxes to go. Postal Service, United States Postal Service is a very important thing to have. Okay? There are people that need it. It's it's a necessity. The fact that they continue, and by I say they, the government continues to allow that service to be underfunded. Okay. is insane to me. We spent last year about a third. We were closer to a half million dollars in shipping with the Postal Service than we were to a quarter million dollars spent. Our post office maintains one, one employee in their office. One. It's it's just mind boggling to me. That that pays easily for four four full time employees with profit on top. You know what I'm saying? That's just, just what we pay for shipping. Plus all the gas and all that other stuff on top. It's it's an insane amount of money that we spent to have one employee at our damn post office. The problem is not our post office, it's these distribution facilities. Packages are going in and they're either not coming out or they're taking forever to come out. And then it's a chain reaction way down the line. It's just, it's absolutely insanity. Back in the day, mail carriers were allowed to go ahead of anyone, including ambulances, because mail was considered more important. Mail is important. At a postal worker's salary slash benefits, that's like 2.75 employees. Hey, listen, Maddie. Let's, let's call it what it is, right? It's at least, it's more than one. And that's just, I mean, we're just talking, that's just Platinum's contribution to that post office. That post office you know? And we're not... We're clearly not the only people that ship out of there. So, yeah, can they afford more than one freaking employee there? Yeah, they can. They can. This 
it's important. People need the postal service. Medication. Exactly. Medications. Checks. You know? Social security. Pensions. It needs... It, it, the service needs to exist. It needs to exist. And it needs to be functioning at a very serviceable level. It needs to be better. Listen, Billy Boy, I'm going to tell you a little secret, okay? If you're using UPS or FedEx and their, their services, okay, they offer discounted rates for their Sabre services, and those services, literally, they use their hubs to transport the packages and when it gets to the destination city UPS or FedEx just brings the package to the post office in that town and the USPS makes the ultimate final delivery okay so there's no way to dodge that service without paying the premium rates and if we have to pay the premium rates we gotta charge more for the brakes or add a shipping cost to the brakes it's just gonna cost you guys more money you know what I'm saying? Chin for the Panthers to 50. Red rookie auto. Amazon is going to start their own mail service once their contract expires with USPS. They already are purchasing planes. They should. They should. Amazon is amazing. The way they get things out the door and to people's houses. It, it would be fantastic to have an affordable option like that, hopefully. Chenault Jr. for the Jags, the 35. I mean, the fact that you can order something with Amazon Prime that costs like $2 and have it to your door in, in, in one day is just, it's mind boggling. You know what I'm saying? Edward Z. Lair for the Chiefs, the 299. 259 goes to the 59 spot. Joe Baxson. Justin Herbert for the Bolts. This bottom edge is all kinds of frayed on there. Uh, 153 goes to the 53 spot. 53 spot. Whoa, whoa, let's not make this about, let's not make this about any particular politic issue, okay? We're not talking about politics. The United States Postal Service has been a step above an abortion, all right, for the last many years. It's not something that just all of a sudden started to stink. Tannehill for the Titans. Hollow. Dominators Tom Brady. Tannehill again to 199 for the Titans. Orange. Tommy. Terrific. Danucci for the boys, rated rookie hollow is card number 200. That'll go to the 25 spot. James Morgan for the Jets, number 125 is going to go to left side, 122, 22 spot. Elite Series rookies, Jordan Love Packers is going to go to the 25 spot. No card number, no serial number. DeAndre Hopkins, Cardinals, number 299. Going to Tommy D. Logan Wilson for the Bengals is card 143 on the hollow. Goes to the 43 spot. Aaron Jones, Green Bay Packers hollow is card 39. 39 spot. Zach Moss for the Buffalo Bills. Orange to 199. We'll go to the left side, 81. And there are two left. It's the facts, Malik. I mean, this is the reality of it. You know? It's the facts. You know? It sucks.
Our drone, our drone package delivery is actually going to be a thing, you think? What happens when uh, little dirty Johnny decides that he's going to take out one of the drones coming to his house to deliver a package or uh, one of the drones flying down the street? He uses it as target practice, shoots it right out of the sky. Now, you know... Mary, Mary from down the block, okay, little little dirty Johnny took out Mary's package from down the block. It landed on uh, Jimmy Jimmy Bimmy, Jimmy Bob's lawn, okay. The dog went out, bit a hole, ruined the whole package, okay. What happens then? Now you got a drone down, package on the wrong person's lawn, ruined, didn't get delivered where it's supposed to get delivered, and uh, little dirty Johnny just ruined everything. What happens with that? What's up with that, you know? Drone packages? Is that is that legit? What are you talking about? Is that really gonna happen? These drones? In what in what world did the drone package system will it actually work? The New York store? What store, Alex? Billy Boy says, great way to deliver drugs, right? <laughs> Little Dirty Johnny. Listen, you left. That shit is gonna happen. If they, if the drone thing actually is real, you gotta tell me that that's not gonna happen at some point in time? Some little kid with his BB gun isn't going to take out one of those drones. You know? It's going to get all screwed up. The drone thing... I just... I, I don't... Me, personally, I don't see it. I don't see it happening. You add them to your cart and leave? So basically, you go to a place, Alex, where you like what scan items, and then you put them in your cart, and then you can just pay on your phone or something. You just walk right out the door. Is that what you're talking about? Johnny, I'm sorry. Yo, little dirty Johnny's gonna be taking those things out, I'm telling you. We did it at the lake this summer. We shot down a drone with a potato gun. Right. Running a fleet is very expensive, D. Getting a few drones shot, D. Won't compare. What happens when little Johnny shoots the drone? Drone lands on top of uh, um, the celebrity's new Ferrari. All right, and they got to pay all that money to get that Ferrari repaired. Hey, listen, T.S., I know. Denzel Mims Jets, 97 of 99. Jennifer O. I know it's a lot of money, TS. No different than accents. Whatever, I'm just saying. You're talking about a large scale situation here. You think it can work? I don't know. Maybe I guess. I guess we'll see. I don't. I don't buy it. I'll believe it when I see it. I suppose. Out of fifty, Jalen Rager, purple. Brandon Ayuk for the Niners. Card sixty nine, one six nine. Tom Brady again. Davius White for the Bills, number to 99. Red, we'll go to left side, number 20. Jordan Love, Green Bay Packers, 154, 54 spot. 
Aaron Rodgers, Green Bay Packers, hollow is 38. Cam Akers for the Rams is number 299. Tyler Johnson for the Bucks. Hollow. Diggs for the Cowboys rookie orange. 93 of 199 goes to the 93 spot. What happens when a UPS driver watches a hottie's boob bouncing and rear ends someone? Listen, TS, we're not talking about that. We're talking about drones right now. Why are you trying to change the subject, TS? Justin Herbert, ESR JH, going to the 25 spot, Elite Series rookie. To a tongue of Iloa. It's a nice looking card for you, Roy. Number to 125, Tua for the Dolphins. My buddy was pissed that he lost his drone and camera. That'll learn him for spying. Cesar Ruiz, Saints, hollow. Jason Kelsey for the Eagles, hollow. So someone's got to sit and operate the drone, don't they? Drones won't have any kind of maintenance. Jordan Love, Green Bay Packers, the rookies. That's going to go to the 25 spot as well. No serial number, no card number. Trubisky Bears, 235 of 299 goes to the 35 spot. And we got a box left. Ton of problems, people not getting charged. <laughs> Jeez, Alex, that sounds problematic to say the least. So what what you're saying, TS, is that you're for the drones. You want to see a bunch of drones flying around. Man, I live in a college town, and the campus feeds the students using robot coolers that drive to the dorms. You see these things everywhere? Holy. Meals on Wheels, for real, huh, RJ Kelly? Financially beneficial to who? So math would favor drones. What about all the people that are drivers for companies like Amazon? They're not going to have a job anymore. This goes against because this goes against keeping people employed. It goes against what's better for the economy. You know what I'm saying? They would be pilots. They can't fly themselves. Well, something tells me they developed some kind of AI that flies that shit around for itself. Yeah, didn't he buy like, he just bought like a freaking half billion dollar yacht or something, didn't he? <laughs> kind of like self-checkout versus cashier. Listen, I think self-checkout, you know, there's another job that's, that's not there. Where we got one clerk running six checkout stations. Everything involves people find new jobs. Listen to us. People need jobs. People need jobs. You can't have robots running the world, baby. You want robots running the world? You don't think it's okay if people have jobs, TS? It's a joke! How are they going to buy into breaks if they don't have jobs, TS? We're talking about the collapse of the entire sports car industry here. This is more than robots delivering shit to your house.
guys, I hope you aren't a driver for. I'm, I'm wondering. I can feel this wetness. I'm looking for it. I can't find it. I hope you're not a driver for the United States Postal Service or for Amazon. Okay, because TS doesn't want you to have your job. He wants a robot. He wants a robot doing your job. TS Card Store on Breakers.tv. He says, F you and your job. Okay? F you and your job. Too bad. Times are changing. Screw you. Learn to drone. <laughs> It's funny you come up to a stop sign and they are waiting on you to drive by so they can cross the street. Now I've heard of these like these like delivery like Domino's delivery drone vehicles or some crap. This is our last hope for this break right here. This is the last hope for this box right now. T.S., I can't believe that I, that I can't believe you're saying these things right now, T.S. Alex Jacob says, if my mail carrier is a pilot of a drone, we all need to pray. <laughs> Shit. So you need to pass a drug test to pilot a drone? T.S., what are your thoughts on drugs? <laughs> Tell us what your thoughts are on drugs, T.S. It's all, it's all a matter of the feeders with the different frequencies, fuck yeah, and the way that the person who's in charge of keeping that feeder full loads the cards into the feeder. So some are backwards, some are upside down, some are backwards for no apparent reason, it's just the frequency as they go through the feeder assembly line, because it's all done with feeder machines. You know, these aren't hand packed, these these all done all packed out with machines. So you know you got an autograph autograph stack that's one per X number of packs. So it spits an auto once every X number of packs, then you got the inserts, one or whatever it is per pack, and you know, then the base and everything is all lined in a assembly line with feeders. If you if you look on YouTube you can watch the video of the of the process of how the the cards get packed with all the feeders and everything. You can actually see the uh, how it happens, how it works. So you got a guy who's got to manually load this vertical feeder with whatever it is, inserts or autos or whatever. And uh, if they're not doing their job and they're putting that shit in backwards or upside down or whatever, then that's why you're seeing the cards get all funky looking. 151 for Joe Burrow goes to the 51 spot. Black lock for the Texans autograph out of 60. It's going to go left side five. Blue rookie auto. Five spot. There goes my drone pilot career, he jack says. So... So what happens if they allow, like, you, you got to go to a facility to pilot these drones? Or are they going to have people doing them from their house, you think? Gibson Pink Velocity for Washington. 48 of 79, 48 spot. Malik. Could you imagine you're piloting a drone from your house? All of a sudden... Your power or your internet goes out. Now we got a rogue drone off the grid zooming around because uh, Harry didn't pay his electric bill or his, his internet bill. 
Cesar Ruiz for the Saints. The, the challenges of doing this drone thing are crazy. They really are tons of challenges to 199. Chase Young. Sutton for the Broncos. Hollow is card number 34. A lot of challenges with these drones, man. How much do the drones cost? Kind of like a police chase because that doesn't happen. Miles Sanders for the Eagles. Pink Velocity. That is number 79. Different companies fly at different altitudes. So is there like a, a is going to be a, a specific point of the grid where they're allowed to come down through another altitude to avoid a crash? Patty Mahomes to the Chiefs. Uh, Patty Mahomes is card number one. So that'll go to the one spot. Pittman Jr. Colts. Hollow. Taysom Hill for the Saints to 299. Think about the logistics of drones. Holy, what a, what a nightmare. Jason Kelsey for the Eagles to 199 orange. Clyde Edwards E. Lair. Excuse me, 171 goes to the 71 spot. Drone College, F Drone Insurance, TS Drone College. You're going to teach us how to use the drones? You're going to teach people how to fly these things? Harrison Bryant, hollow. Lamar Jackson, hollow. Ravens. 3 2 1, Ravens, Lamar Jackson. Tom Brady Bucks. Joe Reed for the Bolts. 1 1 2 of 179 goes to the 12 spot. And CD Lamb for the Dallas Cowboys is 1 5 6 going to the 56 spot. <laughs> You're piloting the drone, watching Optic Football get busted. You have the three spot, and a big Herbert gets pulled. You're in awe looking at your hit. And boom, there goes some poor fool's Honda Accord. <laughs> well, big hit coming on the other side. He says, selling that shit. Giants fan all the way here. Come on, break out your engineering background and get creative. Listen, TS, I turned off the engineering component in my brain when we started this business. I haven't, I haven't gotten into that. I haven't thought in, in that particular fashion in, in, in several years now. Now that they'll just regulate it somehow, TS. It won't happen though. Think of all the think of all the money they're already getting. Hell, if you saw what we paid in taxes, you'd probably freaking throw up. Do I think regulations is close? No. Don't I don't if they're going to regulate anything, it would have to start with the card manufacturers. What are they going to do? Tell them you can't put any cards of any significant value in packs? Is it, is it, this, what we do here is no more gambling than if you go into a store and buy a box of cards on your own. Okay? You could get a, a box of cards with basically no value, or you can get a, a card from that box of cards worth a million dollars. What's the difference? You could get into a break and get something of no value okay or you can get a card worth a million dollars what's the difference what's the difference you know how is it any different it's the same thing just doing it on a on a, on a different level that's all
just like with the uh, so so when these people buy these packs online and they're getting a a digital card or cards okay they're not actually getting anything it's something that's completely fabricated when they people buy into a break and they get no hits they're getting they're owning the rights to a team exactly and that team has value. You know why it has value? Because they can take it, that team and sell it before the break. They can do it for a dollar. You can sell your team for a, bu a buck. You can sell your team for a, a 500 bucks. So what you have has value. So the outcome of the break might not go your way, but you can't say people aren't getting something. Even if no cards come out of a case, they're still getting something. Whether they choose to make something of it or not is up to them. There's always going to be somebody looking to buy a team, you know, somebody who missed a filler, somebody who's only interested in certain numbers, somebody who's only interested in certain teams, you know what I'm saying? So well, no matter what you get, you have something of value. It may not actually turn into something of value at the end of the road, but no, I'm just saying, T.S., I mean, when you look at it at the macro level, the, 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 the realistic thing comes down to it would have to be a, a, some regulation enforced at the manufacturer level and I don't think that will ever happen it hasn't happened in in a, a century of sports or over a century of, of cards being made what's gonna happen now you know what I'm saying think about the the sports card industry right now think about how many people are employed by it think of how much money the government makes in taxes from it you know what I'm saying to regulate in some way shape or form would only put a damper on that you know people would lose jobs taxes less taxes will be being paid now if you got some Joe Blow who's running a you know basement operation and he's not paying his employees he's not paying payroll taxes he's not paying taxes on his on his uh, income you know what I'm saying well then they should go after those people right they should go after those people and, and they should freaking find them and where they need to be, throw them in jail. But when you got legit operations, doing the right thing, paying all the right taxes, employing lots of people, putting food in a lot of mouths, putting rubes on a lot of people's heads with the employment opportunities, you know? You know? It's, it's the difference between a legit operation and some uh, backdoor sleaze operation. You know what I'm saying? Autographs for this half. <clears throat> Ross Blacklock for the Houston Texans. Card number 5 of 60. One to the 5 spot. Denzel Mims for the Jets. Card number 97 of 99. Jeremy Chin for the Carolina Panthers. Number to 50. Anthony McFarlane for the Pittsburgh Steelers. 46 out of 50 red. 46 spot. Antoine Winfield Jr. for the Tampa Bay Bucks, numbered to 60. And a Matty Ice for the Falcons, dynamic patch auto. Serial number 19 of 25, go to the 19 spot. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for Don Rosopic 91. No monster hit on this half. No Burrow, no Tua, no Herbert, no downtown. Something big is brewing in 92. Filler coming up.